Macro photography can be very rewarding when you're nailing all of your shots, but it can also be very frustrating when you're shooting the same photos over and over and you see little to no improvements in your photos over time. You'll start to feel unmotivated and maybe even consider quitting the genre. I've definitely been there before and that's why I'm here to talk about five quick tips that'll help you improve your macro photography. Tip number one is to do some quick research on the subjects you photograph. This is important because doing research will help you get a better understanding of the species you photograph. And since insects and bugs are the most diverse group of organisms in the world, you'll find out that each species behaves differently. Also doing research can help you get a better understanding on where you can find certain species at. There's apps out there such as iNaturalist that can help you identify the bugs you photograph and give you facts about each species. Tip number two is to get a lot of practice out in the field. Improving your photography takes a lot of time and requires lots of patience, especially in macro photography. Try to get the most out of every photo session you go on because the more time you're out there in the field taking shots, the better you will get over time. On most of my sessions, I'm out there for a minimum of three hours. I'll even push it to five hours or longer sometimes, but I know that's not possible for some people since we're all busy and have other plans. So my advice is just to get the most out of every photo session you go on and go out and photograph every chance you get. <music> Tip number three is to always make sure the eyes of your subject are in focus and sharp. Sharp eyes are always crucial when it comes to photography and macro is no different. And always go through your camera and check your photos to make sure you nailed the sharpness before moving on. There have been plenty of times where I thought the photos I took were sharp, but they weren't quite as sharp as I liked, so I kept shooting till I finally got the shots I liked. I know it can be challenging now to focus, but a few tips that'll help you capture sharp eyes are to always shoot in manual because autofocus and macro photography can be inaccurate. Use a speed light flash, and take a lot of photos. Taking lots of photos will just give you more options to choose from. Tip number four is to try to shoot your subjects from different angles, which means sometimes you'll have to get in weird positions to get the shot. It's important to try different angles because different angles can sometimes even change the whole mood of a photo. Even if you think you already took a shot that you really like, I still think it's worth trying different angles if possible. Also, if your subject is on the ground, then don't be afraid to get on the ground to achieve the shot. Photos that are eye level with your subjects will be able to immerse the audience in the world of the subject. Tip number five is to always think about composition when out shooting your subjects. I know it's easy when you first spot a subject to photograph is to just start taking shots without a plan, but try your best not to do that. Always have a plan when you're photographing something. Try to envision the shot you want before you begin clicking away. Do you want a detailed cropped in portrait or a more scenic rule of thirds style shot which shows off the subject and the background? Always keep these kinds of questions in your head when out photographing and also always pay attention to your background. 
basic backgrounds will take the attention away from your subjects. Try to always photograph your subjects with a clean background. A clean background will make the subject stand out even more. I hope they help you capture the best shots out in the field, but just remember that practice and repetition is the biggest key if you really want to improve in your photography. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.